Markets are continuing to digest the news surrounding the U.S.-China trade relationship. Where can investors find value? Joining us now for more, Chris Zaccarelli, Chief Investment Officer at Independent Advisors Alliance. Chris, you're, you're optimistic about the overall uh, China situation, but it could take a while. It could take till June, but you think something gets done at that point to remove the headline risk? I am optimistic. I think June, the June 28th, 29th G20 meeting that's going to be happening in Osaka, Japan, is going to be an important time for both the U.S. and China to signal their intentions in terms of how the trade negotiations are going to be going. I don't necessarily know that they're going to have an agreement at that point in time, but I think what they say and how they act through that meeting should really give us a lot of uh, ideas in terms of how this is going to play out. But I do think ultimately it's in both leaders' best interest to make a deal, which is why I think it makes sense to, to invest accordingly. And, and what, would that, what does that mean, invest how? You, you like some sectors, you don't like some other sectors. Semiconductors would benefit. Is that, uh, is that the reason for that call? Exactly. Yeah, I think semiconductors have really been hit pretty hard. If you look at what's happened even over the last month, they've lost about a third of their year-to-date gains. Right now, they're trading around 12.9 times uh, calendar year 2020 earnings versus the market around 15 and a half times. So you're already looking at around a 17 percent discount to the market. So I think there's, there's value in semiconductors, which will absolutely benefit from, from a, a, a trade negotiations that start to go better than they're currently going yeah, right well, now. What's home builders that's not based on China? Home builders is more about just the economy continuing to heal and also some, some concerns about what's happening with interest rates and what's happening with the economy. I think there's a lot of overhang in terms of CapEx spending. You're seeing a lot of companies cut back. You're obviously seeing interest rates continue to be lower. I think as interest rates start to go higher, I think that'll take some people off the sidelines, look to start uh, you know, buying houses that maybe they're waiting to see what happens with interest rates. Uh, paradoxically, as interest rates start going higher, you actually see more people buying homes, whereas when rates stay low like they are now, even though it's less expensive, people t typically tend to, uh, to wait. What about uh, the medical device manufacturers? Have they gotten cheaper based on the, the angst just in healthcare in general? or? Yeah, so on the healthcare side, if you look at uh, that sector, that's actually had the best earnings growth year over year of all 11 sectors. It's up about 9.2% year over year. Within healthcare, we like the medical device manufacturers. It has nothing to do with the trade war, it just has to do with the fact that that's one of those defensive sectors that's less expensive. And, and it is a lot about the political anxiety about what will happen both within Congress now and also as we head into the 2020 election cycle. So we also think there's value there. And then you don't like. Uh Utilities, why? Because interest rates are headed up in your view? Or uh, what about consumer staples? Those are two sectors you'd avoid? Those are two sectors I'd avoid. I think they're both really expensive. If you look at utilities right now, they're trading around 17.8 times. Uh, again, calendar 2020 earnings versus 15 and a half for the market. So they're, you're trading at a premium to the market. Their growth is not going to be as good as some of those other areas that I mentioned. And then consumer staples are even more expensive, trading around 18.6 times earnings, again, versus 15 and a half for the market. So both of those are, are relatively overvalued versus the market. They don't offer as good growth. I think a lot of people have piled into those areas, assuming that they'll be defensive, because typically they are. But as they get more expensive, that takes away some of the benefit of, of hiding out in those sectors, for lack of a better word.